I'm hoping so. You do. That's really nice. I assume it's once per camp and you can't just spam it. Maybe you can. But I don't know. Yes. Fill out his uh shield there. Gonna give him more shield as well. Cause uh I really feel like it's the most important stat at this point in the game. Maybe break too, but everyone has one in there. There's two. I don't know. I didn't check. Oh, he has a promotion too. Nice. Improve your ability, higher stats, increase your item rank. Yes. All right. Rank two. Break damage. Auto attack for all allies. Cool. All right. Give him this, and I will actually give him one break shield as well. Cool. I believe that's what it is. Like break damage. Break. Yep. Break shield. Whatever. Cool. All right. I believe that was all of the promotions. One more check through. Wonderful. All right, I think it's time to rest up a couple days. Pretty sure we're pretty close to the where we need to end up, so I can rest those few days. I never care for that expression. It means you're going to be okay. People look up to you. Uh, I'll say people look up to you, that sounds good. It is lose-lose. You're not sure what to say. In many ways, or in many years, you've known the chieftain's wife. This is probably the most you've ever talked. Why me? Your family, you should carry it. What would you have done? Huh? I like this, like, come on. I think they would follow you. I would vouch for you. You're probably right. Hmm. Probably right. Bad, but probably true if I if I gather correctly. This is what it means to be a strong woman. Do my best. I rely on you. 
Oh. Sure. <laughs> she looks sideways, eventually giving over a timid smile. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her hand on your shoulder as she heads back to camp. <clears throat> okay, we got six days of supplies. Pretty sure we're pretty close to uh, the new place where we're heading. No more promotions or anything. Check that out. Awesome. At a, small, at a small split in the trail, a few fighters stop to speak with you, each carrying a single pack. We recognize this place, one man says. We spent several years here with some kin. If they're still around, we have to warn them of what's coming. With luck, we'll find you again in less than a week. I don't have supplies. All right, so wish the fighters well, send them off with extra supplies, remind everyone that they're free to do as they please. You think you'll survive out there on your own? Tell them they're needed here. I'll wish them well. Uh, let them go. They Hopefully they're, they're still there and they can... Uh... You nod your understanding. Kin is kin, you say. Do what you must to, prote to protect them. The man claps you on the shoulder and the fighters depart. I'm a people's clansman. <laughs> Complaints of Rasvarter's excessive drinking have resurfaced. This time, the man stumbled over some tent ropes, pulled the snagged canvas through a campfire, nearly setting a supply wagon aflame. Clansman put out the fire on both the wagon and Rasvar's leg before leading him to you. Punish him physically, ban him from camping near others in the future, this man drinks nothing but water from now on. Yes, I think that's the right move. Rothwalter groggily agrees, slurring his way through promises to quit being such a nuisance. Many of the onlookers snort or roll their eyes, but go back to their business. Somehow you doubt it'll be long before Rothwalter manages to find another drink, whether you'll allow it or not. Next time, I'll be more harsh, for sure. Cut his head off or something, you know? <laughs> Dredge shouts a man from the back of the caravan. It's Rossmarger, the unstable, unabashed drunk, staggering towards you. Looking not entirely sober, he screams again, pointing to the trees in the distance. Fear races through the caravan as fighters pull their weapons. Scouts return with no sights and furious men surround him. Banish the drunkard from your camp. Let your clansmen deliver justice. Ready yourself against Dredge just in case. I'm gonna ready myself just in case, maybe something else will happen as well. There'll be time for that later. You tell the men, for now we take no chances. A full day of uneasy rest passes with no sign of dredge. The caravan is annoyed by the scare and the delay. Eventually, Rosvalter bursts into laughter and you're sure there never were any dredge. Not long after, Rosvalter goes missing. Nobody searches for him or seems to mind. I should have let them just kill him. Dang it. If I ever find him again. <laughs> Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostwetter now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. You jostle through fallow crowds and sunken faces who appear as though they've been freezing in front of Fossfeller for days. The gates are closed. You come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. Great. Of course the gates are closed.
Orle finds you amongst the many refugees. getting in the walls somehow. I want to know more about what's going on in there. Let's lay low for now and see what happens. Where else could we go? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I want to know more. I see a lot of people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> on supplies. Alright. What is this? Plus three armor RS, plus two drawing aggro, plus one strength. Minus one drawing aggro. This might be helpful eventually, but we'll see what we get first. Oh, wonderful. I can rest and do everything else here, too. I don't mind sitting here for a while. Doubt I got any more promotions just uh, doing nothing, <laughs> as I imagined. All right, let's uh, head to the gate. You approach the gate where hundreds of people have gathered. In the trodden, bloody space in front of the door, several pincushioned bodies lie unclaimed as though they simply belong there. Archers up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women below intermittently call for mercy and reason when they're not flinging stones and curses. Ivor, did you really expect to push these gates open? Find out more from the crowd, shout at the guards on the wall, leave the gates and try something else. Let's find out more. You spend an hour talking to different people who have all the same story. A couple days ago, the chieftain shut himself in, closed the gates, and refused any more refugees. They've got huge stores of supplies in there too, adds one man. They're just hoarding them. Try to push through the front gates, shout at the guards, leave the gates, and try something else. Let's do that. You leave the crowds and head back down the hill. There are a lot of people gathered around the rest houses, says Oddly pointing. Oddly pointing. Maybe we can find help there, or at least make ourselves useful. Do I just... I don't want to, like, accidentally rest. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's what I, I was worried about, accidentally resting, but... Okay. You spend a whole day at the rest houses. Everyone gives you the same story. The chieftain just shut himself in the gates. There are a lot of wounded people here, adds Alette. We could help them. The rest house is overflowing with refugees, the sick and wounded, and noise. Tend to the wounded, settle in for the long haul, rest for a day, leave and try something else. Let's tend to the wounded. Alette and Oddleaf spend the day along with others in your caravan trading wounds, most of which came from the archers at the gates. I overheard from one woman that the city has been sending carts with food around. Oddleaf tells you. Could be a way in, Ivan replies. Ivor replies. Next time they send a cart, we bring it back in, Oddly protests. Aside from leading a fight to a fight, it would probably mean no more food for the refugees. We'll wait and confront them, I think. They are bringing food, so I don't want to hurt them right away. Keep your sword drawn until we need it, you tell Ivor. 
we'll make a deal unless they're looking for a fight. Early the next day, you spot another cart leaving the gates of the city. After they've thrown their scraps to the refugees, you approach. Hopefully this goes well. Who's Ekil? You can get us into the city? Why shouldn't we just take this cart back ourselves? <laughs> That's nah. Find out who Ekil is. He's in charge up there. Fine, let's go. Yeah. He nods. You follow him back up to the gates, where the door opens for you. A man clad in black approaches as you step inside. The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before much more refugees notice. Oh, he's dead. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration as if simply stating the obvious. <laughs> He's an animal. His freaking eye twitches and stuff. He's crazy. <laughs> join you for now. We'll fend for ourselves inside Frostbelly. We're not staying here. Let us out. I'll keep trusting people for now, uh, I guess. Exil shouts to his men and with the gates closed you follow him down obscured alleys. I really don't trust this guy. <laughs> I shouldn't. I don't know why I clicked that option, but whatever. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Chapter 3 Little Did They Sleep. Nice. Perk up, just now realizing Mogger has been talking to you. Since Wagner died, everyone has been looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. I heard you. What were you saying? Sorry, just tired. Go on. I heard you.
Yeah, nice. I like him. They're right, Ludin. Return to Strand. Go home. Ludin makes his own decisions. Bognir's dead. There's no reason to stay. I'll let him make his own decisions. Ludin turns abruptly with a scowl. He stamps back to his ring of tents and followers. I don't like him, he's so prissy. <laughs> Tell them to be cautious, no more losses. Tell them we cover the mountainside and dredge bodies. Tell them we don't stop until shield is retaken. Let's destroy some of these. Good. Let's go kill some dredge. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? We got heroes. Let's check out these people. I haven't seen them in a while. Throw Irik up there. Any promotions? Nice. Eric can be promoted. Yes, please. Max that out. Awesome. Alright, I think we are... Let's talk to Mogger. Anything you can tell me about the caravan? Haven't you ever wanted to be in command? You think we're walking into a death trap? Let's get back to it. Let's do it. Wonder what? Probably what happened. <laughs> Anything you can tell me about the caravan?
Mercy. I assume that's somebody I have to watch out for. Ursa. The witch, huh? Got some magic or something? Flaming arrows, ah. Haven't you ever wanted to be in command? More than I am? <laughs> Jeez, there's so many <laughs> freaking suicide jokes. <laughs> Not jokes, I guess, but lines. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sarcastic thanks? I believe so. <laughs> what were you holding back about? If you say so, keep it to yourself. I want to know. I kind of had a feeling that's what he was thinking. I'm glad I know at least, I mean. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. Consider what to say next. What are you always putting down in that journal? I heard you were a terror in your day. What do you suppose happened to the sun? Get some rest. Always more marching to do. I like.
Scrivener gestures around him as if to remind you of the current situation. <laughs> you chuckle. <laughs> yeah, you got a good chance of dying as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> Just such a plain answer. What are you always putting down in that journal? What do you suppose happened to the sun? Get some rest. Always more marching to do. 